guys welcome back to my channel welcome to another vlog i'm so excited to start off this vlog because we are in destin this is gonna be like our little baby moon we just drove down from houston to here so it was about nine hours it was a pretty easy drive um now we're here so i'm excited to take you guys along we'll be here for a few days and the best part is that guess who made it with us well, Skippy, I brought the dogs. Well, we brought the dogs. I just couldn't leave them and I'm just so happy I did. We got a dog friendly Airbnb. I'll link it down below and show you guys like a little, what is that? A little tour. <laughs> and we just went to Publix this morning, got some groceries and I'm so happy to be here. This place is so nice. It's just exactly what I needed. So let me show you around. So we went to Costco, picked up this beach umbrella and the matching beach chairs. These are by Tommy Bahama. They were so cheap at Costco, but I've also seen them at TJ Maxx and Marshalls. So if I find them, I'll link them down below. Um, the dogs are here. And this is a dog-friendly Airbnb. It's pretty messy right now just because we got here very late and put all our stuff everywhere but y'all it's super nice and it was very affordable and the best part is just the location like i said ignore everything the kitchen is pretty like well packed with everything you would need to cook there's also a grill outside sorry i had to put this here for the dogs not to come upstairs but let me show you the upstairs so it's like a little town home my Show you the rooms it has two rooms it fits up to six people i believe i was doing my makeup here and then i'm officially 23 weeks today yay again pretty messy this is the bedroom i always do tours before um like we mess up the places when we travel but we're so tired last night so super nice Super affordable, I'll link it down below and I think I have an Airbnb like affiliate code where you get $40 off, so highly recommend. We are heading out, Sunnies are from Amazon. This is old from Paxson, it's a very comfortable bikini. This is from Ana Luisa, this is from Amazon, I'll link it. And then we have this beach bag, also from Amazon. So, an Amazon gal. gal. English. I'm not okay. I'm not. So we made it. I don't know if y'all can hear me. It's a helicopter. We made it. These two are over here. We didn't even inflate the kiddie pool. It was a fail. The weather is so nice though, and the baby is kicking so much. Dante decided to go do whatever he's doing. I guess he's like chasing waves or something. We all the water is so clear and beautiful. It's a little chilly, not gonna lie. But after a while, you kind of get used to it. I don't know if y'all can see my bum. Bumping, that's for sure. Look at him, I'm like a little kid. I'm gonna try to get it because yesterday we saw dolphins and I didn't get any good videos. They're right there. I don't know if y'all can see them. Hopefully they'll come close like they did yesterday. It's so cool. Like I've swum with them before, but I've never seen them like in the wild. Look, look, look. Do y'all see that? Oh my god. Can't wait to show this to my parents. Hello. It is the next day and I look terrible i don't know what happened i put on sunscreen i did everything i was under the umbrella for the most part left and i still look like this and i'm wearing makeup y'all so it's bad anyway we are heading to kind of like seaside alice beach area we're gonna get breakfast first at maple street um, biscuit company it's a beautiful day and 
we're gonna go kind of like explore that area take some pics um went to starbucks this morning i got a nitro cold brew with caramel cream foam so good um and i'm wearing this dress so i'll show you guys um around since i've done a terrible job of like vlogging but yeah that's what's happening here i don't even know what this is <laughs> so um but yeah i'll show you guys once we get there oh my god y'all so we came to this place and i think we both got the same thing i just got it without an egg y'all see how big this is oh my goodness okay well we made it over here it's very cute the houses are 10 out of 10 and we're just in this little square it's like a very famous hotel we're just gonna walk around look at the shops um it's pretty packed in here there was like traffic coming in and everything but we're just gonna look around probably head back in a bit and then go to the beach but i wanted to show y'all it's a very cute town hey guys so i kind of did a terrible job at vlogging this week but it was just like our little like getaway we really needed it and it was just like a good time for us to like unplug like i didn't check my email i didn't work at all and now we're back home so it is monday i've been working all day and i'm exhausted i need to go grocery shopping so that's probably what i'll do and i'm just gonna continue this vlog and just do kind of like a catch-up and just like getting my life together after that weekend or that week at the beach but highly recommend that area it is so beautiful especially if, if you live like in louisiana mississippi alabama or even houston it was not that bad of a drive so let's go grocery shopping so i just got back from aldi y'all all of this was like 50 bucks i cannot recommend shopping there enough so cheap so i kind of want to eat a ton of veggies this week um so i got some mushrooms maybe for like a stir fry and just something then bell peppers for a greek salad needed onions this for a greek salad asparagus for like a little stir fry green onions for everything tomatoes for the salad and then i just wanted to pick up some lettuce my lettuce is not ready yet um the one in my backyard turkey for sandwiches cauliflower crackers for this this is just like creamy pepper jack kind of looks like the laughing cow so we'll try that pepper jack for the sandwiches then this is not healthy at all these just drew me in it sounded so good to me for some reason empanadas with roasted corn and black beans mm -mm -mm. and then this sounded good too they were like together so i picked both of those up i've never tried them we're out of tortillas and we were out of sour cream got some chicken for a chicken rice soup that i want to make and for just like life then this i use in my coffee the best fries ever and these are like a dollar sourdough bread for the sandwiches and then Y'all, I've been craving Diet Coke like a maniac, so I'm only having it on days where I don't have coffee, but oh, it's just so good. So that's my little Aldi haul. I, like I said, cannot recommend shopping there enough. They have so many things and they're so cheap. Okay, don't mind the air fryer. I am trying out the empanadas, but I'm gonna make a big batch of Greek salad for the week, so. These are all the ingredients. These are some chicken, basil, like paleo sausages we got at Costco, probably at like two or three. Garbanzo beans, cucumbers, the bell peppers, this feta cheese that is seasoned, um, lemon, and then red, or red orange. Holy crap, y'all, my brain is all over the place. Red onion. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna chop everything up, cook the sausage, throw it in a bowl, and then when i'm ready to eat it i add the seasoning or the dressing okay here is the salad nice and colorful and bright i did um add the lemon juice a little bit of olive oil and then let me show you my favorite thing from Trader Joe's at the moment this uh tar seasoning blend very mediterranean and some paprika obviously salt pepper so yeah, it's looking yummy. I'm making the sausages nice and brown. 
these are like healthy-ish, like they have no sugar or anything. Um, but I just like to add any sort of protein, either a sausage or chicken or something. So it's been a few hours. I took off my nail polish and I'm gonna make an appointment to get my nails done tomorrow just because I keep painting them and just like taking it off and I just don't think that's good for my nails. But I'm having a stressful week because my parents are out of town. So that means like I have to take care of their cats, their dogs, my grandma, my aunt, like feed them and I have a lot to do to catch up on from the last week and then my cousin is coming to see my grandma so I'm gonna go pick her up in like 20 minutes just overwhelmed but excitingly I have some backyard updates this isn't gonna be like the full um, makeover vlog because the table hasn't come in but let me show you around so I know I haven't shown you all this for sure I got these actually my mom got them from Costco and they're so great they have so these are a lot of veggies so i have some lettuce um basil i think that's habanero pepper this one is bell peppers and that one is cucumber then we have two little tomatoes i don't know if y'all can see look at that it's so exciting and this is jalapenos so we have that and then over here we had a little incident I don't know if it was a squirrel or something but something dug up the cilantro roots so it started like dying i try to re like plant it but it's not working so i need to get another cilantro because i use that a ton then we have sage parsley mint um i think that's olive and then thyme or thyme someone told me how to say it thyme and then i don't know why my mom put that there that's just a fern so we have these right here and then <laughs> please ignore how messy this situation is but i got some new chairs so our old like patio table wasn't bad or anything we just didn't buy it and it's not really my style um like my husband had it before we even moved in together so i am ready to change it up so we're gonna move this towards the back keep the rug that's from amazon then i got these chairs from Target they are so nice but they're still metal they were very affordable I'll link them and then I got a new table so I'll show you guys the table it is a very nice and light wood it's just gonna look so pretty and I'm not too worried since this area is covered so yeah I definitely need to like deep clean this when the table comes the table is from World Market I'll link it as well and then move all that mess get rid of those flowers and we'll have like a cute little backyard for now um, my husband got these yesterday the black one is being washed by me he got them for free um, I don't know if he saw them on a curb or something but they were free so I think these are very aesthetically pleasing a little dirty so that's why I was washing them but we'll see what we do with this um, maybe bring them inside put some plants we'll see but super cute and then I was dying for an elephant ear so my husband bought the I think they're called like the bulbs um, so they're sprouting look at that I'm gonna have a little elephant ear soon well I have two but I'll have like a big plant soon also I'm here wasting time until I have to go pick up my cousin but I found this baby book at my parents house I don't know why this isn't focusing and this is me when I was I think two and let me show you so my mom just kept like a ton of things this is my brother i know that's random also remind me to tell y'all about my brother's deployment because you know so i was born in venezuela in case you guys don't know and found these pictures of my parents when my mom was pregnant i think she said she was about three months pregnant here so dante and i recreated these pictures at the beach this weekend or this past week so let me put the pictures on the screen right now that it was just so cute i love how fun my parents look and look how tiny my mom's bump was like she's always been so skinny and i just thought this was fun so you can see my ultrasounds me when i was born baptized um this really cute thing more pictures of baby philo <laughs> can't wait to make one of these for my daughter and then more pictures of my parents they were just the cutest 
So we recreated this one. I'll put it on the screen. Look at my dad being a fool. My mom too. <laughs> so yeah, we recreated those and I just thought this was super cute. So I wanted to show y'all. I was a chubby bald head baby. <laughs> We'll see if my daughter has my hair. Because look how red and curly my hair used to be. I don't know if y'all can see. Look at that. Ah, baby Fila was a little chubby little girl. So that's my little baby book. Hey guys, it's been I think a few days since I last vlogged. I'll give you guys an update. But first I'm going to do a quick little haul. I got a few things from Shein. It's not that I'm in denial of buying maternity clothes. Like, I totally want to because I want to be comfortable. However, every time I try to buy maternity clothes, they just don't fit. They're too big and just not what I'm looking for. So instead, I'm just sizing up and getting a ton of dresses. So that's what I did. Got this super cute gingham dress that's pretty flowy. Pretty short, though. So if you're tall, don't get this. Got in a size medium. I got this. This is probably one of my favorites. It is a blue, the prettiest like periwinkle maxi dress. Got a size medium. Ties in the waist. Looks super cute with the bump. This one is also super cute. It's, like I said, these are not maternity. So I just size up. It's a tiered dress. It reminds me of Lux Love Shack Fancy. Look how cute. So there's that one. This one is not the best quality, not gonna lie, it's pretty thin, but I just love the shape so much and I just know during like very, very hot days in Houston, this will be perfect. So it's like a tie-dye baby doll style dress. Got a few t-shirts. This one I have in a pullover version in two colors, so I got the t-shirt. Then this one that just Makes no sense because obviously I'm not skiing in the summer, but it's so cute. Um, so I got those to wear with biker shorts. Then this dress, not the most flattering. It truly looks like I weighed like, I don't know, 500 pounds when I wear it. But it's so comfy and again, perfect for the bump. It's like this faux linen. I love the sandy color. So I got that one. This is a beautiful maxi dress. I should have gotten a size large though because it fits me right now in like two weeks. I just know it's not gonna fit the bump because of the waistband. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? So stay tuned on my Instagram, I'm committing to actually posting on there. And then another little tee that looks like this. Yeah, so that's all I got. I actually got a ton more things, but none of those fit me. Let me show you real quick. This was just disappointing. I didn't love the print. It's like a maxi dress. This one, the material was terrible, super thin. So those are getting returned. This one I had high hopes, but it doesn't fit. Like It does fit, but it doesn't look good with the bump. So if you're not pregnant, get this because it's so cute. Another like bad material one was this one um this one i've already ordered twice because i love this print so much but it's just this little frilly part doesn't look good with the bump and yeah i think that's it so let me tell you guys some very bad news so if you're having a great day um i'm about to get like emotional and just talk about sad things so maybe this isn't the vlog for you today <laughs> come back another day um Okay, <sighs> I filmed this once during my gender reveal, like the day before or something, and I decided not to post it because it was like so depressing and just not, I don't know, I was just like, why would I post this? Like, no one cares, that's just so sad. Basically, a few months ago, we learned that my grandma had a tumor in her um, back, and she's 92 years old, it's pretty much inoperable. Um, they can't even treat it, you know, so we found that out. She was sent to hospice at her house and everything was fine ish, you know, like she complained about pain and things like that. But besides that, she was okay. Then a few weeks ago, she had this incident where we had to call 911 because she couldn't breathe and we found out she had pneumonia. She had liquid and water in her lungs and 
they try to treat it they release her from the hospital after two weeks and i guess it never like healed properly um because of her age and just pre-existing conditions and she ended up like struggling to breathe once more took her to the hospital again then hospice was like y'all can't keep taking her this is just like how she's gonna pass and the past few days she's just been declining um just like rapidly so that's why my cousin came um my aunt from california was in town and you know yesterday was a pretty rough day so it's kind of hard for me to vlog slash film right now i filmed a video last week and i just felt like my energy wasn't there because i was kind of like just upset about so many things um another thing is that my brother is deploying which i can't even talk about without getting very sad i'm obviously pregnant so i'm obviously sad <laughs> um no, like i'm obviously pregnant so like obviously it's sad but it just makes me like 10 times more emotional he's deploying for six months which means he's gonna miss everything basically until december so he's not gonna be here you know he wasn't be he wasn't here for my gender reveal which sucked so that's another thing that i cut out because i cried when i talked about it and then he's not gonna be here for my baby shower and he's not gonna be here when she's born and he's not gonna meet her until she's like three months and uh, it just sucks so um i want to be so happy about the baby and just life you know my husband my career everything you know i'm like super privileged lucky blessed all the things but i'm not gonna lie you know i dreamt of my grandma meeting my baby <laughs> and um yeah i found a video oh I'm, I'm really crying i found a video of my grandma going to a hospital to meet me for the first time when i was born like two years ago and i saw it for the first time like a few days ago and i was just like wow i can't wait to have her meet her great granddaughter and just film that <laughs> <sighs> damn it i really don't want to cry because i still need to film um yeah you know like just have her meet her and i don't know it just sucks you know that she might not be here and i don't want her to be here she's suffering and she's in just so much pain and then you know with my brother it's just it's part of the military i guess and i'm not his wife or anything so it's not like he could even take off and i like props to y'all if y'all have like a military spouse because like it's my brother and we're super close but i just can't even imagine um so anyway all that to say um just been rough like it makes me not even want to do a baby shower because i don't know like so two very important people aren't gonna be there because they can't you know so it just sucks and that's kind of how i felt before my gender reveal and i should have posted it um and i guess i just didn't want to ruin like the excitement because like i said I i've been super excited about my baby but i was struggling hard that week before my gender reveal because of this and now it's just getting worse and worse and simon's deploying because at that point simon my brother he hadn't gotten his like like orders yet to deploy he just couldn't come because his work schedule is so strict and he lives in arkansas but now it's just shit you know it's six months it's rough but it's fine i'm trying to like focus on the positive and just wanted to let y'all know mostly to vent but also if you believe in prayers i would greatly appreciate y'all praying for my grandma and praying for my brother to make it home safe in six months and just yeah i just wanted to share just in case i feel like my videos have been i don't know i don't i haven't been loving my content but 
I just wanted y'all to know where I'm coming from, I guess. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. I didn't expect to cry this much and I didn't expect to talk for seven freaking minutes. Am I okay? <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys... <laughs> I was gonna say I enjoyed this vlog, but I feel like this vlog was all over the place and I don't even know if anyone would watch this much, but yeah, that's everything for today's video. Um, yeah, I will talk to you guys probably next week. I'm going to just spend like my mom's birthdays on Sunday. I'm gonna go spend the rest of the weekend with my family and just be with them and be with my grandma and yeah. I will talk to you guys next week.